Boom, boom, and a stand. Third party companies are coming for Bandai. I know you're thinking, why is there a box that says black hole on it? Why is there a box that just says black hole? It doesn't say anything else, it just says black hole. Now, what do you think? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear black hole? What do you think of? Because I could tell you what I'm thinking of, and it's something that will get me kicked off of YouTube. So now, why is this called black hole? I promise it's something Dragon Ball Z related. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the... Ah, there we go. Get this guy out. Get it out. Get him out. Get him out of here. Get him out. Get the out of here. With a little kid Goku with the uh, tongue out, little kid Goku. And there we go. Very, very good. So now, this is something that um, I was excited for. You're gonna see why I really bought this, kind of for a hair skull. What? But in my videos, I always like to, at the end of the videos, to kind of just add more to your video. It, when you're watching one of my videos, it's more. I try to put as much effort in because I am the best toy hunter on YouTube, I'm the best toy reviewer on YouTube. Tell me somebody who's better, and you'd be lying. So we're gonna be opening up this four booster packs of the, this is the brand new Dragon Ball Super card game. And I love Cell, so I just saw Cell, so I bought it. But then I realized there's actually some really good cards in this set. So this is gonna be my first black hole, <laughs> uh, Acme Power, that's what it's called. Acme, oh Acme, like the old uh, Looney Tunes, Acme Power. Uh, it's definitely not Super Instinct Goku, it's, hello police, it's definitely not the Super Instinct Goku, it's, it's just Acme Power. You've never heard of him? <laughs> Look at this guys, you ready? Boom, boom, and a stand. Third party companies are coming for Bandai, they are just like, come on dude. Bandai, I just paid a hundred dollars for the new premium Bandai release of this guy. Basically the same figure re-released with a little book. And it was a hundred dollars after tax and shipping. That's what, and premium Bandai don't even have extra heads and all this stuff like that. Seriously, craziness. It's craziness. So, we're gonna get into that, but first let's look at the accessories. Look, even more. A Destructo disc. Head sculpt. Head sculpts. Even more, like, they had so many accessories, they said, bro, we can't even put them on here. We don't have room. Right now, these things, you could find them on eBay, on Alibaba, or wherever you get your Chinese. Definitely a child put this together. I'm not condone, listen, I'm not, um, I'm not supporting, I guess I technically am supporting it, but it's bad. Child labor is bad, except where it's legal, then I can't say any. If it's legal, then who am I, as an American that has children's toys, to tell China that, I mean, to tell another country what they're doing to children is wrong? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I don't have any children working down here. This is really exciting because this will be my second energy effect. The first one being another bootleg figure that I just recently opened. And uh, with the wisdom, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and I got two energy effects now, so this is freaking awesome. I love these third party companies are like slowly becoming my favorite thing ever because they're giving us stuff that the regular companies don't want to give us. And I don't care, man. I don't have any brand loyalty. Get me the product and I'll support it. Take a look at the energy effects really quick. The power up, look at that. And you even have these parts. This is cool. Cause then you could put this on the floor and it makes it really nice. I have a tournament of power diorama that I'm setting up. I don't know, you guys can't see it, it's down there. And Ultra Instinct Goku will fit perfectly in there. There are so many accessories to try to get them all. Um, oh, there is a Destructo disc. I don't know if when Goku does it, does he call it something different? I don't remember. I mean, if you're gonna steal Krillin's move, at least give him credit. There are so many things. It kinda is, I should just kinda look through here real quick. We're gonna try to look through here real quick, show you guys, because the hands are always, wait, two of the same exact hands? Oh, oh one, one sh might have a peg in it for the, yeah, there's a peg in one of, okay. See, there's a peg. So. These two have the peg for the energy effect, which is awesome. Then they have the regular just 
spray in hands. Then they have gripping hands and then the karate hands. So we have these two. We have these two. We have the two on the figures. Look at that. Oh, would you look at that. <laughs> and I actually like I like this way more than I thought I was going to in person because I wanted to really, I'll show you guys in a little bit, but I wanted to kind of turn him into the Super Saiyan Goku. Um, but I, the Ultra Instinct's looking really cool. Look at that. I like this face. Uh, a lot of people like, I don't know, how do you guys feel? I love when Goku gets serious. I love, because I, I love Goku the way he is, like the character is perfect. In Dragon Ball GT, he's way too goofy. And then in Dragon Ball Super, he's like way too goofy. But uh, like the in Dragon Ball, like the movies, the Dragon Ball Z movies, he is like so good. Like Lord Slug is my favorite Dragon Ball Z movie, my favorite one. I watched it so many times. I still have my original VHS tape. I watched it so many times. I love the way Goku acts in that one. It's, he's heroic, he's strong, he's confident, and uh, he's not goofy. Like, the, like Dragon Ball Super, I enjoy it, it's fine, but it's just so silly and goofy. It's like too silly and goofy. They come with four different face, regular face plates. This is just an extra accessory, and people have been putting water de decal stickers on them, but it should have came with some stickers. It doesn't come with any stickers, so that's what sucks. Now, this is kind of a main reason why I purchased this item like I bought this for the Super Saiyan with the white oh, Super Saiyan like I love when the Super Saiyan hair was white that was like mid Z even the cell games uh, he had like the whitish hair with those green eyes this is my favorite I love these hair pieces and I was just like I gotta buy this whole set just for these hair pieces sadly they don't give you any face plates, so I'm going to have to try to figure out what fits in this face plate. Ooh, ooh, there was a, ah, oh, I got a Chinese hair. Look at that. Oh my God, guys, that's, that came in my package for free. I got this guy's hair or girls or child. I don't know. Okay, so it has the blast. I'm not building. This thing takes forever to build. It is cool that they include it because they don't even include them in official releases. We are going to take a look at this white hair. I'm all over the place. There's just way too much stuff in this release. So this figure looks freaking beautiful. I really like it. I might get another one because I like this more than I thought I was going to like it. And I kind of don't want to take him apart now for the hair. But okay, so he has the, the new, the dropout shoulders that I love. Like, so we can get, like, better articulation. I, feel, I wish all of the figures had that. Wow, look at this guy. This figure rocks. And I didn't even pose him yet. I love this damn figure. Look at that. This thing is basically an official. Guys, I'm telling you. We are at the point where, like, these figures are just as good. If not, in some cases, there's nothing loose here. They have more to prove than Bandai. We might be at the point where... Third-party companies are trying harder and are better than their counterparts, their official counterparts. I, it could be. We could be there, guys. I'm not even joking. So, um, everything looks great. It's not bootleg. It's a clone. So, that means it's probably made with the same parts and the same factories. Like, a lot of times, that's how they do it. Um, yeah, like, the, every joint is tight like a tiger and the knees look great like everything looks great the chest looks good his face like i really i love that face right there i don't know there's something about this figure it's just jumping at me and i really don't even want to take it apart but I, we're gonna have to let's let's see uh can ah, oh okay not bad i'm really afraid because i did watch a review where someone broke theirs so just please be careful uh, I would heat them up. I wouldn't go at it like I am. Um, reviewers, oof, there you go. Reviewers, we run the risk of, of hurting our figures for your entertainment. So make sure you're liking, you're hitting the like button. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not. And uh, become a channel member. There are so many perks of becoming a channel member. Seriously, become a channel member. It helps out the channel. You get movie reviews I have up on there. I have my Dragon Ball Superhero movie review. Just, it's uh, channel exclusive. Toy hunts on there. Hunt and I are going to Spirit Halloween. Every year we do a Spirit Halloween, just like toy hunt, but it's not a toy hunt or whatever, just kind of like a vlog. And that is up there from last year and this year's is gonna go up soon. There, all my live streams go up there. So if you've ever missed a live stream, 
all of them, hours and hours of footage up on my channel membership. So become a channel member today. And I also give out free gifts. Okay, so I don't hate this figure. Uh, you do have to get the different eyes because he has the silver. I guess you could kind of fudge it because this hair is supposed to be shiny black. This is the original Ultra Instinct and then he goes into the all silver. Um, but okay, it's not not my favorite head. Hey, yo. We're going to try the Goku face from here. I don't think it works actually because it's like a... I'm pretty sure that doesn't work. Uh it's kind of it's kind of oh a different yellow, but let's see if let's see if the bangs go on it. Nope, nope, not at all. There's not even a a hole. No, okay, so that doesn't work. I don't care how many, I don't care how many different color hairs they give this guy, pink, orange, blue, yellow, whatever. There is nothing better than the original Super Saiyan. There is nothing better than that. I love that right there. This right here. I love this thing right here, and uh, I think it's just, you know, same, I bet you the kids today, if there's any young kids watching this, you guys probably see Dragon Ball Super as your thing. People here have watched that live, I'm sure. So, it's just, I everything comes down to what you were raised with, you know? What you were, what was in your, your hype, what was your thing? Oh my god, that looks beautiful. I think I gotta buy another, I'm gonna buy another one of these. I gotta buy another one. Um, let's put him, hold on, let's put him with this energy effect behind him. Whoo, buddy! Mama mia, that looks freaking good! We'll try this hair. Alright, so this hair does not fit that well. That's what I did see people complaining about, like, the, the hairs, the hairs are kind of not, oh, look at that, that looks great. I just have to get some uh, yellow face plates and paint them, but I love these hair sculpts. Look at that. That looks great. Hold on. Let me see one more. I don't even want to touch that one, but let's see. I'm definitely buying, I'm buying one today. I'm buying another one of these today. They're, it's just too, oh, look at that. Come on. Give us all, give us a freaking white face plate. I want the real hair. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love that. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I could talk about this stuff for another 20 minutes, but I won't. Let's open up the Dragon Ball cards because I'm very excited. I think I might open two today. Oh, and you get a... Hold on a second. You get a promo card. Look at that. We get Super Saiyan God Blue Goku. And he's doing the thing. His hands are literally doing the thing I've been doing to you all day. That is crazy. He knew. There are four packs in here. I thought this said it was four booster packs. 50 cards in total. Okay. So we'll hit it up with two. We'll do two. Uh, I love, oh my god, guys, I love Fat Boo. I love First Form Cell. Literally meant to be. We'll go with these two guys first. I'll save these for another video. Always watch my videos to the end because uh, I always try to have fun and open up cards and stuff. Let's, ooh, let's open this up. All right. Let's open it. Now, for people, who collects cards here? Is it better to buy the box sets, the booster boxes, like... What would you prefer if you know about the cards and you buy them? Like, where do you get the better pulls? We have Baby Finishing Rage. Very nice. Garlic Jr. I know him. Supreme Kai Girl. I don't know that girl. Krillin. Yep. Student Bonds. We have GT Vegeta. Minus the mustache. We have Piccolo. A bad... I read this as a bad father. Oops. That'll trigger people. Vegeta. I never liked the Whis outfits. I'm glad they got rid of those. I was not a fan of the Whis outfits. Android 18. Master Roshi getting his... I love Master Roshi was in the Tournament of Power. If you are not a Dragon Ball fan, you don't understand why Master Roshi is important. Master Roshi is the OG. Put respect on his name. I feel like he does not get respected enough. And that's one thing I like about Super. They gave him... 
Uh, his, ooh, yes! Guys, oh my god, okay. This is when, when Cell was sucking up everybody. He was sucking everybody off. You remember that? When Cell came around, oh! Oh! No way! We got a secret rare! Dude! No, look at that! In their Whis outfits, I was just talking about it. I'm pretty sure anytime you see Goku and Vegeta on a card, that's a good card. Click on one of the videos right here on the screen. Click on another video. Even if you've seen it before, it helps out the video. And I'll see you in the next toy hunt. Bye!